Now speaking of having no experience or hardly any at all, I want to go ahead and wrap these guys because my wife doesn't like the way that the wood looks. So we're going to remove all of these, and I mean all of these wood panels. I'm gonna try to do it as carefully as I can and show you guys how to do it. All right, so step one, to get these guys off, these plastic boys, let's see if I can get some light on in here. I definitely recommend getting some of these plastic tools. Okay, because I've done this on the other GX and you can get some marks on here. So just eight bucks, get it on Amazon. First thing to do is to uh, lift this, uh, this peat up. Wow. First thing to do is to get this piece up so you can access right here and right here. So you just gotta carefully get something in there. Now we're just gonna pry up around here. And as you get a little bit of height in it, there you go. Stick something in here. There, you just snap loose. Okay. Now carefully work this along the side here. Pulling up, try not to pry. And it should pull out toward you this way, towards where you are behind the camera. Very careful. Okay, this is the one that snapped loose and it, you can see that it's still in good shape. Nothing's broken or anything like that. And start over here. Okay, it's working its way loose. Now I'm gonna grab the next step, which would probably be this, to get a little more rigidity. And together they're able to bring this clip up and out of its connection point. Just be really patient with it. Work it out at your own pace. So definitely can't be in a rush with this. There you go. Looks like it popped loose. This one pulls out the same exact way. And there it comes. Now these ones are the ones that people break. So definitely be really careful with them. I believe there's a place to hold on to right here. I think the thing that breaks most is here because it's the least amount of wood and it's the weakest point. So I'm trying to do everything I can to extract straight outward and not lever that point. Very carefully, there it is. Okay. We got this unit out. Uh, there should be a clip for the hazards, and there it is. All right, looks like there is a, there's a tab on the bottom here that you have to uh, get to to disconnect it. So for any of you watching, that's where that's located. All right, I'm trying to remove these. These other panels on the side of the steering wheel very carefully. There you go, they just go straight in like that. All right guys, this is how far I got for tonight. These are the two panels by the radio, and then the two front trim pieces. This is by the steering wheel. This is above the glove box. All right, so we got them at home. Wife is gonna help me. Belle. <laughs> okay, and now we're going. Okay, so this was my first attempt at wrapping this. Now, I put way too much focus on, you know, heating around the end here and bending the vinyl that I forgot about making sure that this was good up here. So it just, there's a bunch of bubbles. I'm not too upset with how this is turning out. I think it'll look really good in the car. All right, let's go.
I think we'll have to move on at this point. I think it's okay. good enough. Sure. Rebecca is cutting around. You see how the shift knob turns out. Here is the finished product, guys. Check this out. I think Rebecca did a great job on this. Okay, for these guys, we're basically just putting a whole single layer over and then cutting out where the vents are and where the uh, hazard light is. So that should be right there. And just slowly heating up around here to make sure it melts. It basically starts to get really like gummy and, and melts over stuff, so. This is what the other one turned out like. <laughs> it's looking pretty awesome, guys. Uh, really excited to see how this looks in the car. All right, guys, uh, we have the stuff here and we're going to Put it in there. All right, guys, Rebecca's gonna put the first piece in. Have at it. And of course, next, you gotta do the shift knob, right? Most essential. All right, awesome. We still gotta get this guy off, but the rest of them are waiting to be put in. So I'm gonna keep going on this. All right, Rebecca wanted to put this one in too because the first one was so easy. Well, you might need to <laughs> reposition there. Just don't crush anything. <coughs> Woo! Check it out. Awesome. You happy about that? There's a screw underneath this panel, like here, there's one here, there's one in the middle here, there's one on this side here. And then I believe this comes up. I haven't tried this yet, but I'm gonna try to get this thing out right now. There's clips right here There's that are holding on, I think. All right, so there's these two really annoying clips. This one goes on that like spine thing. This one goes right up here. So that's what you're gonna need to know when you're disconnecting the wiring. All right, here it comes. So I'll leave this here with the downhole assist control. And voila. All right guys, while Rebecca's working on getting a perfect cut on the centerpiece, I'm gonna try to see if I can get this door card off. This whole thing has to come out to get this guy because there's, there's bolts on the other side that hold it in or screws that hold it in. I don't know exactly how to do it. I saw like one video on it, so I'm gonna go for it.
Alright guys, uh, we got the door panel off and there's... Here's behind the door panel. You move this piece of insulation out of the way. You'll start seeing these screws. And these go right into these wood things. So there's a couple along here. You just gotta take all those out. Okay, now we're just going to wrap this. Uh, Rebecca figured out somehow how to get the exact right cut. She put it face down there and cut it with the exacto on like like that. And now press one of them out. Ah, perfect. All right, and that is what it looks like. So, wow, that turned out really good. All right, now we're just gonna start snapping it in all around there and just snap. back in. This can go back in. Alright guys, check it out. This is what it looks like. It looks way better in my opinion guys. Let me know what you think places that we could have improved like this place um we can actually get some of the plastic tools and kind of stuff that in but the rest of it is looking pretty dang good all right guys thanks so much for watching if you're gonna try this at home drop a comment and we'll see you next video